Welcome back, guys. Oh, have I got lots to talk to you about. Oh, hell yes, I have. Uh, some major developments. But before we get into that, I'll just point out that um, Indie B's, uh, Indie B, Indie DB have their uh, their awards, their, their game awards thing going on at the moment. And in the real-time strategy section for upcoming games, guess what's been nominated? Oh, yeah foundation so now obviously i am i'm completely impartial so i'm i'm not going to try and influence you as to who you should vote for <laughs> yeah not much um seriously like go vote for them like i i actually took the time to specifically vote for them uh, and i'll explain to you why in a second but i'm uh, like right now like pause pause the video and go and go and vote for them Really, they are awesome. They deserve it. They totally deserve it. So I'm, I'm just going to wait here until, you, until you've done that. Do, 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 do. Right, have you, have you done it now? Okay, cool. All right, let's go on with it then. So, so why? Why am I, why am I being so nice and, and telling you about them? Okay, so at the end of the last video, um, I went to make the next video, and, uh, and I turned on the upgrades, and like half my citizens like started starving it was like what and it was like loads of foods look at the food <laughs> look at the bread um there was loads of food sitting around but people were starving and i could i could not figure it out so um i got onto the got onto the devs i sent them uh, sent them a save game right now they could have just come back to me and said oh okay we took a look and what it is people are getting stuck Right, so you, you need to figure out like where they're getting stuck and unstick them. No, no, they didn't do that. They sent me like a, a long post with, with pictures of the buildings where people were stuck and explained the whole mechanism and everything. Right, the time they took to do it. Oh, man. So, um, so yeah, so for example, um, this building here, right, this building here, I originally had fences there. And it was stopping people getting into the house. So they were stuck. And then, um, let's see. Oh, oh, over here. F apparently, for some reason, um, this building has a problem. And I don't know why. Uh, and to be honest, they didn't know why. But they were like, this one's, you know, it has a problem. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with that one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe... To just get rid of it. What does Oswald do? Where do you work? Oh, you're a builder. Fine. So Oswald will just will just knock your house down. Sorry, mate. Yeah, but it is what it is. And I think what I'll do, I'll take this. Take that fence out so I've got access to your back garden. All right, cool. So that's that one. Um, there was uh, there was another one, which was the other house that was a problem. I can't remember now. I have to go and look at the post. Uh, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have plenty of time to do that. So finally, oh, another thing I, I need to tell you about this: transporters. This is a, a thing that they've now fixed. They've already fixed it. Transporters are supposed to go on a transport mandate and and bring back the largest amount of, say, bread or berries or whatever. Uh, but due to a little glitch in the coding, instead of going and getting the largest amount that they could get, so for example, if you look over here, right, they should go to a place like this and get, it's because they can, they can get like 50 at a time from here. Um, they were actually getting the smallest amount. So yeah, that was a little problem. They found that, fixed that. And now, uh, like my farmers, I've actually, I've actually extended the fields and joined the fields together because my farmers when they're planting oh my god they're planting so much and in fact if i crank this up to three times speed and we take a look at the farmers oh my god look at them go right and they're not they're not pausing as much like when they finish like tiny tiny pause they're ripping through it you should see them when they're planting up now. It's like, wow, they just like cover the place. It's awesome. So now this whole thing is like just one massive zone. And the same on this side. It's, uh, it really is awesome. Now, there is still one problem. 
uh, which is that, and this is something that they they are working on a fix for. They haven't fixed it yet, but they're working on a fix for it. And that is that transporters sometimes get. Oh, this was the this was the other one that was a problem. Uh, transporters are getting stuck in warehouses. Now here it, it's this one. This one's fine, but this one has a problem. Even though everything's stocked up. Um, so I don't know. I, I think I'll see how that one goes, and if they start getting stuck, then I'll, I'll have to either do. I'll either get rid of it completely, or I'll try moving it or something. But but it's it's okay at the moment. Now apparently, running it on different speeds makes a difference. So they'll get stuck more often if you run it on three times speed than if you run it on normal speed. If you run it on normal speed, most of the time it'll be okay. So um, I'm probably gonna like try it on three times and then if I have problems I'll probably rewind it and change it to one time speed and run it on because of that I'm gonna do a lot of this upgrading stuff um, like offline so I'll, I'll just like let it run go make a cup of tea and whatever and probably several cups of tea because it's gonna take ages but we can now start doing the upgrading so I'm gonna turn on house upgrading I would have thought oh here we go there we go. You know what? I'm just going to let a few upgrade. Well, I say a few. Apparently, quite a few. <laughs> so, I'm going to do it in batches. I'm going to let... Oh, God, loads. Yeah, loads. I'm going to let a batch get done, and then we'll see. Now, what happened before was when I turned this on, like, I'm up at 98%. That was dropping rapidly to, like, 30%. And I was having people leaving the city because people were starving because they were getting stuck all over the place. But um, a few fixes, and hopefully that shouldn't be so much of a problem. Now, while that's happening, God, they're still upgrading. I should have, I should have switched it off after, after like a couple of seconds. Um, I want to get a village going on over here because the the people who are living here have to walk a long way to get stuff. So let's put a village in over here, shall we? Yes. Yes, we shall. So I'm going to put in, um, let's start off with a well. Yeah, let's start off with a well. Yeah, am I going to be, am I going to do kind of a village center? Yeah, I guess. So let's have, um, let's have a well like there. Yeah, let's have a well there. And then am I gonna have, I'm going to have a church like here, I think. Yeah, let's do that. So um, church, 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 rustic church. What do I want? What do I want my rustic church to be like? Um, shall I have a tall one? Let's have a tall one. So let's have that there. And we'll have... Um, can I have a door B, I think? I like door B. I'll have a door B. And... Pff, extension B. Oh, that's extension B, isn't it? I have to say, the, the extension Bs are quite nice. I do quite like those. Make it a little bit different. And then maybe on this side. What's extension C like? Extension C is very, very much like extension A. Very, very similar. I mean, I mean we could pop one of those on. Just have a little little churchy like that. Should you have a little church like that? Yeah, go on. Shall I make this uh, shall I just light or dark? Um this one's dark, isn't it? Should I have a dark one for a change? Yeah, it's a dark one. What the hell? What the hell? Go wild. I've got to say, it's, a, it's maybe a little bit bigger than I wanted it for just a little village here. Uh, I might actually, I might actually get rid of that. That's a bit, it's a bit much. Yeah. Maybe just like that. Because otherwise, it, like, it's just too much. Yeah, go on. This is supposed to be a very, very little, very little village. Let's push that out a little bit. Let's get that built. And then, how's the planks? Planks is actually kind of sort of holding up. There's a lot, they're going to use a load of planks upgrading all of those houses. We got stuff going on. I'm, I'm kind of anxiously watching this to see whether that changes. If that starts to drop, then I'll... Uh, I'll get onto it straight away. Uh, so the other thing that we want is uh, some markets. So what do I want? Market. 
let's have so we want we want at least three food markets and a goods market so we'll have um, let's put a goods market up oh, now start the construct I'm going to do them as separate ones I, I just prefer having them separate so market and no, let's put the goods market on this side so there start that more houses are upgrading I've turned it off <laughs> god it's got a mind of its own this game I swear it's haunted and what do I want another market another food market going on over here I might put this one as a bit of an angle just to kind of make it a little bit different and start that one and then let's have another market that's one so that's I've got two food and the goods we need one more food so what am I looking for market and food market and let's have this one straight there start that construction okay so we'll have water we'll have food we'll have clothes we'll have religion all right so they'll be able to satisfy all of their needs down here now I'm gonna need to put in some houses for these guys how many how many people have not got 14 people now five of them will not move into houses so we've got room for about four houses so I'm gonna need four people to work at the markets so that's a couple of houses so let's have so have a couple of houses in like say so that, that that'll do and one more there please yep that'll do that'll do pig slice that off and slice that off alrighty now while we're on the subject of zoning um, forbidden land was also causing a problem so I've act like these buildings weren't working properly because they were partially covered by forbidden zone and whatever so I think at this point that I'm gonna eliminate further problems and just get rid of these forbidden zones now Cheers guess we just don't we don't need them anymore I don't think we've got our we've got our basic grid layout and I think from this point on I'm just going to throw the houses in and how they end up is how they end up because whilst whilst I do want it like basically gridded for like the main streets which is what I've got I also do want some kind of back streets which are which are like not necessarily like exactly gridded because I think that'll look better um do I need to, I don't need that bit. I don't need that bit round there. But I do I do want to keep them kind of away from the, the coast there. We can snip that little bit back. I, I would like there to be a path going along there, but the, they don't seem to want to make one at the moment. Um shall I make this farm field a tiny bit a tiny bit bigger? Yeah, go on. So let's just push it out like that a little bit. There we go. Cool. I could even go a bit further. Now that's fine. That's fine. Alrighty. So, how are my fields doing up here? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, oh, another house is upgrading. You know what? I'm going to crank it up to times three. I just wanted to show you. It was 97. Still 97. It was 98. It's 97. Still okay at the moment. I was hoping that they would kind of blitz through this and get to planting. But you know what? I guess I guess I'll show you that later. So what I'm going to do is let this stuff get built. Um, the people who live here are going to be the well. These are built actually, aren't they? So you're not going to be a builder anymore. Uh, you're not going to be a builder anymore. You're not going to be a builder anymore. Well, hang on, who the hell was it? Who did I have up before? Oh, I think I screwed it up. Never mind. Um, so what I want to do is say... Did I not get the other... The goods one to start building? I don't think I did. Well, let's assign you. Uh, I don't think I got that one building. I didn't. Alright, let's put that back in. 
here. What do I want? Market and goods market. Which is going to go in like there. Start construction. Hooray. Um, I'm not seeing my little posts. I hope that's working. Okay. And so... Yeah, you can work there. So let's assign you. Cool. Uh, so this one, I guess this one could be berries. This one can be bread. Uh, this one will be fish. And this one, if it ever gets built, will be goods. But we'll see. Are you... Oh, hooray! Hooray! It's getting it's getting built. It's getting built. Alright, so we want um, you to... You're not going to be a builder anymore. And you're not going to be a builder anymore. Oh, was it you that I got up? Yeah, must have been. Alright, so assign you there. And as soon as this gets built, we assign the last person. And that's all set up. Right. Now, is anybody using the church yet? The church is built, is built isn't it? Oh, we've got it. Yes, yes, people are going to the church. Hooray! Oh, awesome source. Let's see. That's got room for 20 people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It probably needs room for 40 people, though. That's the only problem. I mean, the people from, from like, here upwards will go to the church over here. But all of these need to go to here. And this is... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4. You know what? It might cope. It might actually cope. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So, sign available villager. Yes, we've got the right people in there. Awesome. That needs to be clothes. Sweet. All right. So, that's going to make, hopefully, our millers and whatever even more efficient than they are at the moment. But look at the bread. The bread go crazy. Now I did see something that said that you can now see what's reserved. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. Ah, there, ah, see? 19, zero reserved. Ah, see, look, 21 reserved. So you can see it, hooray. That's really useful when you're debugging. I think that's why they put it in, because I was looking at this and going, I like, like there was two bread there, and, and people were wandering off to other places, but I couldn't tell if they were already reserved or not. This makes it very clear. Uh, how's this warehouse doing? This warehouse is stocked up with bread and clothes. No fish. So, how's our fish stocks? Oh, this, you know, when it's working, this game is so awesome. We've only got 60 fish. We do need to be bringing in more fish, I think. Because our fish are getting consumed voraciously. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put some I'm gonna have to put some more fish in. For sure. Oh I did turn these around, by the way. I know yeah, people left me comments saying you put them in the wrong way. So yeah, I've I've fixed those. Have I fixed those? No, I haven't. No, no, I did fix them. And then I had to restart because, yeah, so actually I need to turn these around. Should we do that now? Yeah, go on, let's turn, do that now. So, destroy that building. Destroy that building. And we'll put two proper fishermen in. Where are we? Fisher's huts. So, yeah, so instead of being like that, they should actually be like this. So, let's put you there. Let's put you there. That's better. <laughs> All right, so we'll let that get built. Um, how are we doing in terms of our buildings getting upgraded? Oh, I see. I see buildings upgraded. Like, that building's been upgraded. Sweet. Awesome. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like when it's all done. All right, what I'm going to do now is let it run, let it upgrade, and I'll come probably back to you kind of like in phases and we'll, we'll see it all getting upgraded but this is this this is exciting times Alrighty, well time has moved on like a fair amount of time it has been i've got to run it on times one speed as soon as i start running it on times three speed it all goes to hell fairly rapidly 
and I've still had problems. I've had to, uh, I had to demolish this warehouse, which was which was actually over here, and take out one of the houses and move it over to space it out. Uh, and now that seems to be okay. I had a problem with um, this warehouse over here. So I've taken out some more of the fences and demolished this and rebuilt it. And now that seems to be fine. Uh, but, and, and look, we've built quite a lot of houses. The place is starting to look very different now. Right? Especially like over here where it's all upgraded. You get these lovely, lovely tight little streets. It's, it's really looking awesome. I'm loving it. Uh, but... I started to run into a bit of a clothing crisis. Oh yeah. Uh, so I've added four tailors. Uh, one there, one there. Was, uh, was it that one? Or was it that one? No, it was that one. Yeah, <laughs> so that one, that one. Was it that one or was it that one? No, I think it was that one. Uh, anyway, what either one of those two, and that one and that one. And then we're still we're still really struggling. So I added in this warehouse here, uh, which is just uh, cloth and wool, and then added a weaver in over here to try and uh, to try and keep things going along. We were, before, before I started all of this, we were up at around 400, 450 cloth. That's now dropped to 200, which is why I've got this uh, extra weaver in to keep the cloth going. Uh, we've got tons of wool though. We've got loads and loads of wool. So I'm probably going to end up uh, putting in another weaver. You'll notice I've turned immigration on. We were at, I think, 401. We're now up to uh, 413. And the reason for that is, obviously, I've needed, uh, I've needed some extra people. Now, the people who were living here, a lot of them were like fishermen working here. And then foragers and stone workers. Uh, the foragers work in here and the stone workers work in here. So, as you can see, I've added in some houses here. And now, the, all the fishermen have moved out. All the fishermen are over here. So, like, all, all these guys live in these houses. And I'm just waiting for one more house. I've, I've marked in one more house to get built. Oh, there. Actually, I don't really want... I'm not sure I want it at a right angle. I might redo that. Maybe, maybe have it more kind of there-ish. Yeah, I think that would look slightly better. So uh, let's just throw in um, some decoration. I don't know. Um, let's use sorry, a sorry, a tree on this corner. I think. There we go. Maybe, maybe a tree over here as well. All right, cool. Uh, I don't know whether the latest people have arrived yet. Have they? Yeah, yeah, we've got a couple of people. So hopefully this uh, this house should build. Oh, and there it is, boom. Cool. So these two, uh, I think one. No, I think they're both. I think they're both going to be foragers, or is it one fisherman, one forager? I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Uh, no, no, these are all these are all assigned. So it's um, these next two are going to be foragers. Uh, I've replaced one forager so far. This this person is uh, is living in one of these houses. So I think we've got seven. Yeah, one, two, three. I added an extra fisherman in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we've got seven. Obviously, it's eight people living in four houses. So and then the one forager living there. So yeah. So I can now take out. Another couple of foragers, and I'm doing this like just step by step. So then I can come over here, pick a house. Uh, you, they can, they were, what were you? Uh, you were a forager, and you were, you were a forager, and you were a fisherman, and they're builders now. So I can, I can use them within the city. Um, like these were a couple of fishermen, I think, and they're weavers now. Yeah, weaver. Uh, one was a fisherman, one was a stonecutter, I think. Or a forager, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, so let's see. You're builder, builder. That's fine. You are forager, forager. So these two will do. So we'll change you 
to a builder. We'll change you to a builder. Cool. Then we hop over here. Find out where they've got. Oh, so it's one from here and one from here. So we want to we want to use up these two people. So yeah, 1050, uh, 1056, awesome. And then as soon as female 80 disappears, we'll uh, we'll assign that one. So, oh man. So that is what I have been up to. Uh, and I'm pretty much just about ready to, to get some more housing underway. It is awesome, but my God, it's kind of, it's kind of a little bit painful. I will be so glad when they sort this, uh, this, this problem out. Because this is kind of, this is kind of the last big problem. And after that, I should be able to kind of fly along. Let's see, where am I at? Uh, we're at 415 people. Can't wait to hit 500 population. That's going to be awesome. I am seriously thinking about getting the monastery going. You know what? Like, what the hell? Let's make a start on the monastery, shall we? Yes. Yes, we freaking shall. They've finished their house. Great. So, monastery. Oh, look at all the, oh, that's all these awesome buildings. Um, I think, like, over here by the bridge, we want a kind of an entrance. So, I'm thinking about, like, a couple of towers, maybe. So, I'm thinking something like tower and tower. And I want the rounded, there's one rounded corner. Oh, no, there are two rounded corners. Oh, maybe I have the two rounded corners facing this way, then. Like that kind of thing. Now, have we got... Oh, decorative bushes. Cool. Got the herb garden cross. What I'm looking for is kind of something to join them that people could walk through. But there kind of isn't one. So, how about... How about... If we have like a, maybe a cloister. So you come through the towers and then we'll have some, some cloisters running along here. Uh, maybe we have, maybe, maybe back to back them. Oh, they, they don't, they don't join up back to back, unfortunately. Um, in that case, maybe we just turn around that way. Have it like that. Yeah, that could look quite cool. And oh, that oh, so this is centre and that's centre B. Oh, and that's solid. Okay, got you. So oh, so maybe maybe then for this, maybe for this side we'll have it open, and then for this side this will be like the outer wall. Oh, okay, so we want. Maybe like a couple of those going along there. And then, and let's see, what are the dorms like? Do, 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 dorms. Ooh, nice big chunky building. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe then a dorm. And then maybe. Now, what's the, um, what's the corner like? Ah, the corner's like that. Perfect. What I'm thinking is maybe we throw, like throw in a corner there, and now if I wanted to go, the problem is going that way. We need like an inside corner and an outside corner. Hmm. Um, oh, I can't. I can't glue anything onto that. Oh, that sucks. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's have. Um, now we've got the Abbey A, which is freaking huge, and Abbey B, which is not so freaking huge. So I'm kind of wondering about maybe having an Abbey B like there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe just run some, some cloisters, like a couple of cloisters. Just have a throw in a couple of cloisters along like that. Just to kind of start it off. And what I'm kind of thinking is to have, I want this to be pretty big, like pretty much like all of this. And then have some other buildings like in the center. 
Uh, and I don't just mean things like, like the apiaries, but actually have some other stuff. Like, I don't know, maybe they have their own bakery and maybe they have their own, I don't know, this, that or the other. Um, yeah, so some stuff. So I think we'll let that develop. Uh, we do have towers. I've already put a couple of those in. Um, we've got all kinds of extensions and stuff that we can use, which is sweet. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Uh, extension C. Oh, that thing's... Oh, that is what I want in the middle of there, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's freaking awesome. All right, that's going to go there. That's going to get plugged. Oh, sweet. Um, you know what? I might, might even put two. Go crazy. Go crazy. Enjoy yourself. Come on. Come on. Like that. That's what we want. Now, because that's a little bit taller, I think the towers look a bit silly like that. So, I think the towers need to be extended up like that. That's more like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, that's really no that's a really nice entranceway. Okay, I'm going to do this in sections, and I think that's probably enough for this. Now, can you put can you put cloisters? Hang on, uh, where are we? Cloister center. If I, can I have cloisters going that way? Oh, you can. Oh, lordy. So what we could do is we could have two with like a like a solid wall back to back. And then we could have close to center B, which has got the, the door in between, and have that and that back to back, so that there's actually a doorway that they can walk through. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. And then uh, we could do the same again, I guess. Have a, a center and a center. Come on, turn around. There we go. Ah, no, no not there. There, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm just wondering about this, whether where I could kind of make that work with this, but I don't think, I don't really think it works. Uh, what is it, extension C, isn't it? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I think we... Oh, I think, maybe. Uh, I mean, there's no necessity to have one on the other side as well. Let's see what it looks like. like if, 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 if we were going to put another one like there. How does it look? Yeah, I'm not convinced. In fact, I wonder, would it look better if they were around that way? Have it like that. Yes, it would look better. It, in fact, that looks kind of cool. Because then you've got the, the windows. It's, it is just a shame that they're not like exactly the same height. That's better. And the windows are clear of the roof. I don't know. You know what? I, I'm not going to put those in because I'm in two minds about that. But up, up to that point, I'm happy with that. I like that quite a lot. Um, I'm just wondering, like, like, how am I going to, am I going to extend this out a little bit or, so if I, I, I could, I suppose I could put another one of those so that it's free access through to there. Uh, what else have we got? So we've got, we've got this baby, which is pretty awesome. And then we've got. No doubt, all kinds of doors. Now, apparently, if you play around with this long enough, they will actually stick to things. But, but it's a bit of a pain. So I might kind of do that offline. It's door B and door C. Oh, I like that one. That, that one's really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's peachy. 
Okay, well that can go there for sure. Um, I am thinking to maybe have one on this side as well. I'd, I'd kind of like one on the end here, but there's no, there's no thing, nothing for it to stick to. Oh, and they've added, I can't remember what it is, but they've added a key um, to turn the toggling off, which is, she is freaking the best thing they've ever done. <laughs> Almost. Uh, do I want a door on the outside? Oh, good Lord. Why won't you stick? I might play around with it offline. You know what? It'd actually be really nice to have like doors there and there. Uh, I might play around with that. Uh, see, see, I can get a door there. I, I'll maybe play around with that. But you know what? Should we start getting that building? I think we probably should. That's the AP. The herb garden that I used over here. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna feature as well. But God knows where I'm going to put that. It's really weird the way it, like, I don't know why it's not letting me put stuff here. I may have to trim off a couple of these and put something else in, like another, another Abbey B. So if I do that and then get, what was it? Herb Garden? Ah, see, now this has extended it, whereas the cloisters don't seem to. It's a little bit weird. I'm just, um, I think we want this. Maybe set back slightly. Can I put a corner piece in there? I was going to leave this, but apparently, <laughs> apparently not. Um, okay, if I put the corner piece there, we'll maybe create a little bit of a square here. Then I need something to kind of close this off. So maybe, maybe just a tower. kind of works just raise it up a couple like that and then and then probably I'm not I don't think I'm gonna put this in but I'm thinking then it's gonna be like an Abbey B probably somewhere here I might even I might even put it that way around so that I can have it sort of like that oh yeah but like I said, I'm not going to put that in yet. I want to play around. All right, let's let's um, let's get that built. So what do we need? What do we need? Oh, my God. We need 165 glass to build that. Ha! Okay. Uh, let's see. Have I got anywhere that I could get bring some glass in? Now, what color do I want it? That's a good point. Um... This is the brown, and I don't want it the same color as this. Should we try the blue? The blue's probably quite nice. And there's also purple, but yeah, I, yeah, I don't think so, do you? No. No, I think we'll go, I think we'll go with blue and see what that looks like. All righty. Uh, oh, there it is, T. The toggle. You toggle the snapping on and off. That's very cool. Uh, so, what do we need? We need, oh my God. <laughs> we need 900 polished stone. Uh, and we currently don't have that much. How much polished stone have we got? Uh, where's polished stone? I can't even see. Oh, there it is. We've got like 100. So, yeah, that's going to take some while. Take a while. So, let's uh, let, get it building. Let's let that get built. Oh, I can't wait to see when it's finished. We got uh, a couple more people joining. So how many unemployed have I got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How have I got seven? How how can I possibly have an odd number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, weird. Right, so I'm going to get back to um, like carrying on with this, uh, replacing these foragers and stuff. Let this get built a bit. Uh, I'm I oh, know glass. Yeah, that was the thing. Glass. I need to bring glass in somewhere. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I mean, I could, I could, rep like, both of these have got bread. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to change that to glass. Okay, and then, now we're going to have to buy this. So, not budget. Trade, there we go. Trade. 
Um, yes, we can buy glass for 50. Good Lord. <laughs> that is expensive. Holy crap. Okay, trading resources and glass. Okay. Oh, just hold it down. I'd forgotten. Just hold it down and so let's say it's 50. Wow, that's freaking expensive. Uh, let's maybe set it to like 75. In fact, no, let's set it to like 50. <laughs> that's quite a lot. And set it, yeah, buy until in inventory reaches that value. All right, cool. All right, let's let that happen. It's gonna take like running on one time speed. It's gonna take a long time, but I'm managing to keep people pretty happy. Uh, I may do a little bit more work on getting the getting the clothing up, but we'll kind of see. And uh, and I'll come back when we've made a little bit of progress. So I actually ran into a problem with this. This wasn't building, and I couldn't I couldn't think of any reason why it wasn't building other than there was something wrong with the bridge. So I've just replaced that stone bridge with, I just threw in a wooden, a wooden bridge. You can see it's not, it's not even lined up properly. But now suddenly, this has got like a million builders assigned to it. So, so now it's actually getting built. So at least that's working. Uh, over here, I added uh, a tailor and a weaver over here. And I haven't actually assigned anybody to it yet. Oh, in fact, no, I added um, two tailors, two tailors and a weaver's shop, which has two weavers in it. So all we need to do is assign some people. So these people, I'll say, you're not a builder and assign you. Yep, cool. And you, don't be a builder. And then these two, don't be a builder and don't be a builder. And then we can assign them to two in there and one in there. Hooray! Are they the right people? Yes, they are. Sweet. All right, cool. So I'm hoping another couple of tailors, another couple of weavers. We'll see if I can get on top of this. The thing is, the more the more houses we upgrade, the more people uh, go up in status. So for example, uh, we've now got, we've got, before we had something I think like, like 300 serfs, um, that's gone down and serfs have been converted to commoners and citizens. And as they do, because the serfs don't need, uh, don't need clothing, uh, but the, the commoners and citizens do. So we're, we're using up a lot more clothes and I'm kind of amazed that with this many tailors, and we've got a lot of tailors, you look at them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, that's in the city. Then we've got like one out here, couple out here, and uh, I think I think that's it actually. Yeah, we don't have a tailor out here because I want this to be more villagey, a lot more villagey. Sweet, all right, cool, so yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see how that progresses. It's coming up a little bit now. These guys getting to work. Yeah, yeah, they're starting to make stuff. He hasn't started yet. Here, he's, this is probably him coming with some cloth. Is that you? Yes, it was. So he'll start producing some clothes. And so, you know, we'll see. Extra couple of tailors. We've got a weaver down here. Yeah, he's getting wool, turn it into cloth. Uh, I've added up here. Yeah, this was this was a slot for clothes, and I've changed that to wool. So we're now bringing wool in. So this weaver can get his wool from here, which um, which is not not far. He's only got to go up there. And then clothes. Um, yeah, I'm get like once the once we've dealt with this glass, once we've got all the glass to be used up there then I'll probably switch that to well I've actually that's a point I've got bread over here in fact that's a point we've got flour in both these places I could change this to clothes but to be honest I prefer to have the clothes in this one I think well so I've got two bakers there 
I should probably have another warehouse, like over here, uh, bringing in stuff for them. But oh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> you get you get the idea. I need to tinker around and make sure that all the stuff is coming in, uh, so that these run efficiently. All right. The thing is, I can't really upgrade any more houses until I get the clothes up a bit more. And I'm, no, I don't know. I the thing I think I'm gonna have to add even more tailors and weavers. I really do. What are we bringing in over here? This is okay. We've got two lots of flour. We don't need two lots of flour. Not now that not now the transport the the transporters are working properly. We do need more fish. Uh. Yeah, 70. Like, if you're below 100, then you're just not making enough. You can see we're not making enough clothes. We're not making enough fish. Uh, everything else. What's this? That's wine. We don't care about wine. Uh, everything else is fine. So, yeah, fish and clothes. Clothes clothes might be coming up a little bit now with the addition of those two tailors. So we might, we might have got on top of it now, and that's awesome. If, if that's the case. But yeah, we definitely need more fishermen. Like, where am I going to put more fishermen in? Oh, and i tell you what I was going to do. I've noticed some of our transporters, um, like, like going like very long routes. And I was thinking, maybe we should have a bridge across here so that transporters um, who are, like, trying to fill these up can actually come over here, like, straight over here. Because they do go long distances to get stuff. And obviously there's a lot of... Um, the lot, there's a lot of like flour and um, and berries and stuff like that over here. So yeah, go, should we do that? Go on, let's do it because I think that'd be quite cool. I think I think a bridge here would look quite good as well. So let's have what do I want? I want a not stone bridge. It's just going to be a wooden bridge. And wooden bridge. I'm thinking just just something like that kind of thing. Yeah, that'd be cool. And then they'll probably they'll probably go around the trees and hook up to that path there. Which would be nice. And I'd have a couple of houses in there. Does that work? Yeah, and you know what? That's actually pretty freaking even. I'm taking that. Boom. <laughs> That's done. That's in. That's done. End of. Alright, cool. We'll see if anybody actually starts using that bridge. This, this, this is the only thing we run it on one time speed. Like, everything takes forever. But it's all working. Look, even, you remember, like, I, I had a bunch of people who weren't living in houses. Now everybody's living in, there's only two villagers who, are, who have, don't have a house. And I'm pretty sure if I put a house in, they'll actually move in. Uh, where shall I put another house? These are probably going to be working in, in the stone mines. So maybe we'll have, or try and have, a house going in. Maybe kind of there-ish. Would be, would be kind of cool. Let's throw in, uh, probably the easiest way is to just throw in a couple of decorative bushes behind here. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Should make this area fairly attractive. But again, you, you need to like give it a little time because we're running on one time speed. So, up oh, there you go. Hooray. And that's that's kind of a good alignment as well. I like that. All right, sweet. And those people are... Yep, they're already in. They're assigned as builders. So, let's see. Who have we got working here? There's nobody working at that. I have been getting rid of stone cutters. Oh, we've got one working there. And, oh, and we've got one working there. So... These two will be living in the city. Yeah, living in this house here. So, you, uh, you're a tailor. But, we'll switch you to being a builder. That's that one. And you, will switch you to being a builder. Awesome source. Go away, go away. Alright, so, like, I mean, do I, do I even want any more? I don't know. Uh, have I got rid of all of the... 
I think I've got rid of all the foragers. I think all of these people... Oh, that's work. Yep, you live there. You live there. Yeah, so it looks, it looks all good. View uh, home. Yeah, you're over there. And you're there. And you're there. Yeah, sweet. Right, so they're all good. So, so yeah, we could just assign a couple of these, I guess. Uh, it's you two, isn't it? And so I just take them off being builders and say, go and work there. <laughs> Sweet. Alrighty then. So having done that, so this is all kind of cool now. Oh, look, we've got people using it. I freaking knew. I knew they wanted to come across here. Some of these are probably people looking for clothing. Although, look, 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 we're up to, we're up in the 80s. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going up. We'll see. We'll see if that can get, like, over 100. And to be honest, I, like, over 150 would be more comfortable. This is starting to get built. Look at that erection. Oh, hell yeah. I put a, I put a well in. That, I only put that in as a test, actually. I meant to take it out, but. Yeah, I've got to put this um, this bridge back in, but I'll wait until like everything's finished, probably. I mean, again, I would like a stone bridge. I guess I'll have to play around with it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll play around with it. Do you want a stone bridge? Like, if you want to... Like, what do you think? Like, do we live with the, with the wooden bridge, or do I try and get a stone bridge in there. I think a stone bridge would look kind of nice. But I'm not unhappy with a wooden bridge. It just needs to be lined up properly because it's it's not in the centre of those two towers and that's really upsetting me. And and it needs to be in the centre here. So it needs to go just over a little bit and then come to this point here. Well, to there, I guess. If you have vehement views about this being a stone bridge, leave me a comment. Uh, I guess you want to see what this looks like, don't you? Yeah, well, if you want to see what that looks like, you'll have to come back for the next episode, because we're leaving it there. Oh, man, I have spent um, a fair amount of time messing around with this. I've spent a fair amount of time talking to the devs. The devs have put time in. So I'm just so pleased that it's all working again. This, I, I, it makes me so happy when this is up at, like, 96 and I know that all my villagers are happy. Nobody's stuck. Everything's working. All right, guys. I, I'm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. But no, that's it. Sky, shut up. Go away. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.